Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this wireless battery cam from Amazon. I'm Really Random Reviews, I hope you're all doing fine and well and having a fantastic day. So this battery kit is from GNCC and costs £59 in the UK at the time of recording. Let's get into the box and see how good it is. Okay, so it seems well presented. We have a user manual there. We won't be needing that. And then we have a receiver here, which has the GNCC branding on. Let's take a look at it closer. So it looks pretty nice. The aerial is a little plasticky, but it feels fine. It moves fine. The device itself feels pretty well made. We've got a SD card slot on the side there, a reset button it looks there. We've got a mounting hole and then we've got a USB port, the Ethernet port and then the 5 volt pin port, power port. Fairly simple, fairly well constructed. This looks like it's a button on the front, probably to pair it up in some way. We'll take a look at that shortly. Good. The camera itself then, this feels quite heavy. It actually feels quite good quality. It's got the GNCC logo and then we can see we've got a rubber grommet at the bottom there. We've got a speaker at the top on the back and then we've got a mounting thread. This rubber seal should be waterproof, that gives us access to the charging port which is a USB micro and then we have the power slash reset button. Infrared sensors and lens on the front and just a generic design really but overall pretty well built and it feels like it's decent quality. Up to now it's all constructed in plastic. So the accessories box then, this should contain the mounting bracket and some other bits and bobs. So yeah, we've got a little basic mounting bracket there. It is metal, so that's a plus. Yeah, it's just a standard mounting bracket. Then we've got a Ethernet cable in white. I assume that's for the hub to the router. Then we have the USB power lead. This is a USB to a USB micro. This is to charge the actual camera. And then the other USB lead is a USB to a pin, which is the 5 volt charger for the hub. We've got some raw plugs and some screws there to mount the bracket. And then we have a little generic white plug for the USB. All in all, very good so far. Let's go and try and get it all set up then. We do have access to a free app with this device. You can also upgrade and get a subscription with this app. We'll take a look at this shortly. But for now, let's get it all set up. So everything we're going to need will be the actual hub itself, the power lead and plug. Then we're going to need the camera and we may need to put some charge in it. So the charger lead for the camera and then the Ethernet from the hub to your network. So let's get it all plugged in then. First, we're gonna plug in the Ethernet cable. It's very simple, it plugs into the bottom of the hub. Good. Then we do the same for the power lead. Then we're gonna go ahead and plug our Ethernet into our network hub. Good. And then the power cable from the hub to either the power plug or an open USB port that you may have on one of your sockets. Now you want to go ahead and open up the camera app on your smartphone and scan the QR code in the manual. This will direct you to this ASIO website where you can install it from the Google Play Store or the iOS. You just want to go ahead and create yourself an account. You just use your email 
set up a password and then you want to add device. Scroll down to the model of device you're using and click that device and then you want to scan the barcode on the back of the hub. Unfortunately for me I'm getting error after error. I have had all sorts of troubleshooting, followed all the guides, I've even followed the YouTube guides and seems that other people on their actual GNCC YouTube channel have had the same issue. I'm going to do a reset of my router and see if that helps, but unfortunately at the moment I can't connect the hub. Luckily this camera can actually function as a standalone and connect to the Wi-Fi by itself. So I'm going to reset the camera by holding the button in for 8 seconds until the camera says it has successfully been reset. So go back into the application, press add device and then you want to select the camera itself and not the hub suite. Then it will ask you for the Wi-Fi code and password, go ahead and enter those credentials and then it will try and connect automatically. If it fails it will show you this QR code on screen and then you need to pick the CCTV camera up, hold it around 20 centimeters away from your phone screen and let it scan this QR code. This should then connect the camera directly to your Wi-Fi and your smart device which gives you access to the live feed. You can also press record in here, it will save the recording automatically to your gallery. You could also take screenshots and you can have two way speak, you can talk through the actual camera. When you save the recording it just goes into your video files. The actual footage quality is not too bad at all, it's pretty good, the colours and everything are all pretty accurate and vibrant, you can see everything nice and clearly. There's a slight bit of latency there but not very much at all. We've also got a flashlight feature for night vision. And the talk feature seems to work pretty well. Testing mic. Testing mic. A little echoey indoors at this close range but otherwise pretty good. Overall this camera is pretty well made and intended to be user friendly. The hub itself is probably the weak point, it doesn't connect for me. I will try and solve this issue and maybe update the video if I manage to do so. But as the camera works as a standalone I thought I would still upload this. Can I recommend this camera as a reliable security source for your valuables or your property? No, unfortunately I can't. I would give this 3 stars out of 5. I would say that I could recommend it for indoor use though, so maybe for covering hallways or your office while you leave to get food and things like that. The battery life isn't particularly good, it only gives you around 24 hours, although the camera does go to sleep when it's not in use. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, drop me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel with your notifications on that way you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching guys and until next time take care of yourselves and each other. I am Really Random Reviews and I'll see you in my next video.